men's and women's lacrosse teams at Chico State have been suspended for their spring season. The decision comes as university officials are still gathering information from students who were present at a team party involving alcohol on January 10th and another party on the 16th. Action News Now reporter Brian Johnson is live now at one of the practice fields with the details. Brian? Alan Debbie, university officials tell me one of the players at that party on the 16th was freshman Nick Castellanos, who ended up dying later that night after walking into the street against a green light and being struck by a car. After 18-year-old Chico State student Nick Castellanos died here on the night of January 16th, Chico State officials began looking into where he was and what happened in the hours leading up to his death. We knew Castellanos was a lacrosse player, and as it turns out, he was at a Chico State lacrosse club party that night. We found out that uh, there were these lacrosse parties, and uh, we therefore followed up. We talked to more students, and we realized that they had violated their policy and therefore we were going to take the actions. Joe Wills, who says seasons were just getting started for the men's and women's teams, says the university had to act decisively. Monday, they notified club officers and coaches that teams would be suspended for the spring season with the opportunity to be recognized as a student organization after the season. The bottom line, Wills says, is social gatherings with alcohol violates the code of conduct contract. Uh, that's strictly against the contracts that they all sign and they know are the policies to have a sports club. I'm told this is where Chico State lacrosse teams usually practice, but Joe Wills tells me not to expect them out here today. By all accounts, it looks like the men's team was practicing hard for their first games at Oregon State and Oregon this weekend, while the women's team had played one game and was gearing up for their second against USC on Valentine's Day. Jeff. Stand by. The Butte County Coroner's Office tells us that toxicology results are still pending for Castellanos, which would determine whether or not and how much alcohol he had in his system. It should be noted that the men's team did travel to Coronado to celebrate his life a couple weeks ago. Reporting live at Chico State for Action News Now, I'm Brian Johnson.